If we open up the network tab here and check what we're connecting to, at the moment we're attempting to connect on the WebSocket server to nuxcasts.com and we already know that this local is the app name that we've set over in our environment variables. Now, there's no surprise that this isn't working. And that is because we have, first of all, not set up a server. <laughs> That's the first reason. But even if we did go ahead and run our server, this wouldn't work. What we're trying to do here is trying to connect to the main app, which of course gives us our application. This doesn't point to the point, uh, the port that we defined a little bit earlier. So what we're going to do in this part is we're going to set up a separate subdomain and we're going to configure it in this part. And in the next part, we're going to set up a reverse proxy. What that means is by having a subdomain, maybe like socket.nuxcast.com, if we just fix that up, what we can do is we can say, well, when we connect to this domain on port 443, which is the SSL port, we can we can proxy that over to port 6001, which means that we have a nice tidy subdomain specifically for our WebSocket connections. So that's what we're going to do now. At the moment, we only have one site, but what we can do is create an entirely new site over on Forge to handle this. Now, there's loads of different ways that you can do this. This is my preferred way. It just means that I don't have to duplicate over loads of Nginx configuration. It means we don't have to do too much to the current configuration for nuxcast.com. We can just keep this entirely separate. If we make a mistake or we want to change this around, we can just delete the site a little bit later. So let's go ahead and create a socket.nuxcasts.com uh, root domain site. We can leave all of this the same, so we don't need to create a database. We're in fact not going to be deploying any code to this at all. So we're not going to deploy a Git repository. This purely exists just as the reverse proxy. So a little bit later, we're going to be modifying the Nginx configuration. But first of all, we want to make sure we have a uh, certificate set up for this. Now over in DigitalOcean, I've already gone ahead and created an A record for socket.nuxcast.com and that points to the same server. So we can go ahead and ping this or we can use some kind of DNS lookup just to make sure that this is resolving. If it is resolving and you've gone ahead and done this, what you should be able to do is obtain a certificate for socket.nuxcast.com. So let's do that now and just wait for that to install and activate and then we can move on to the next part and look at our configuration. Okay, so that's gone ahead and installed and activated. So now what we essentially have is an identical uh, configuration to our main app. What we're gonna do in the next part is play around with this to proxy this over to port 6001. So now that we've got that subdomain set up and we know why that we're setting that up, let's go ahead and create that proxy.